From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. Hey folks, hope you had a nice day so far. I'd say the weather's mostly cooperated for our Saturday, but conditions will begin to deteriorate as we head through tonight and into tomorrow. First things first, as we head through the next several hours, we're getting back out of the 80s into the 70s, and through tonight and into tomorrow morning, we're probably going to end up in the 60s when all is said and done with it. But those rain chances, as you saw there, are actually going to be increasing here through tonight. Let me show you the future cast, and I think it has a somewhat reasonable expectation of things. Uh, let me show you, though. Let's walk through it. So there are those temperatures cooling down for the first half of tonight. Not seeing any huge issues. But past midnight near the pre-dawn hours, well, we get this big batch of relatively heavy thunderstorms moving in across the Tennessee Valley. So we're going to have to watch this for some heavy downpours, maybe some gusty winds and frequent lightning. If this does manifest, which it seems the trends are indicative of some storms in the area. So we'll watch that. This moves through, drags south, and we still have some lingering showers for the first half of our Sunday. A little bit of a break by midday. Then we get round two, this batch of rain and storms here dragging south through the second half of the afternoon Sunday. And as a result, well, we're watching this as we head through the late evening hour, or early evening through about sunset or so for the possibility of some stronger thunderstorms with that. As a result of models indicating this, the entire Tennessee Valley, is just a sea of green, which is to say we're in the level one out of five severe weather risk for severe weather for tomorrow. The primary threat with that would be damaging winds in excess of about 50 or 60 miles an hour. And you could also see some hail with that as well. So we're going to watch that very carefully and see how this trends. Most of this, this big green mass of level one out of five risk of severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center, that's for that round in the afternoon to evening hours of Sunday. So again, we'll watch that very carefully. I'll be in the studio alongside Ben or Kelly if anything happens and you know, we'll be live nonstop until the danger is over, so we'll keep a close eye on that. No worries there, right? Now, this is that front moving through. That's going to be dragging south here over the next several days. And Monday, we might have a few lingering showers of the rumble of thunder or two with those. But to be honest with you, I think the rest of the week actually looks pretty decent uh, behind this system, right? We get this high pressure for the first half of the week. That does us a lot of favors. Temperatures stay a little bit moderated here for the first half of the week, especially Monday and Tuesday. But we'll be warming back up pretty quickly in the extended term. Here's your hometown forecast for tonight. There are those mid 60s for your lows in southern middle Tennessee, maybe some upper 60s mixed in. Again, with the possibility of thunderstorms late, late, late tonight and into the early to mid morning hours of our Sunday. So we'll watch that closely. That's round one to the stronger storms possible. Near 70 for your lows tonight and into tomorrow morning in North Alabama. So generally some consistency, three to four degrees of difference. Nothing too huge there. So again, we're going to watch that very carefully here. Sunday is going to be the day to watch. Again, for that level one out of five risk of weather right now. That is subject to change, could go higher even, so we'll watch that. And then again, like I said, rest of the week actually looks pretty decent. There's some off and on signal towards Thursday, but really remains to be seen. If the trends of, you know, right now are to be believed, I actually think it's going to be less rain chances then. So past what we're seeing over the next 24 hours, we have good weather to look forward to. Let's just get past this weekend and we'll get there. Thanks for joining me for this forecast update. I'll be back with you at 9 for a final look at your forecast fresh from Tennessee Valley Weather Center. I'll speak to you soon.